It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Los Angeles Chargers and the Carolina Panthers. Next on Madden Football. On a warm afternoon in the Tar Heel State of North Carolina, EA Sports brings you to Bank of America Stadium in Uptown Charlotte. Brandon Gaunt and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles, quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. Eddie Pinheiro about set to get us going, and we are underway here in Charlotte. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Chargers coming out to take over, and it is Justin Herbert at quarterback CD, now in his fifth NFL campaign. And he's looking to bounce back after an injury-riddled season a year ago. Herbert, obviously one of the most talented quarterbacks in the league, but that doesn't do you any good when you're standing on the sidelines wearing a baseball cap. If this team's ever going to reach their full potential, they've got to find a way to keep him upright. And with his new head coach Jim Harbaugh in the fold, they'll do exactly that. They'll have a chance to win a lot of games with Justin Herbert on the field. First carry now for Gus Edwards. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. And from the 34, here's second and four. Again, it's Edwards. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. Back to throw here, Herbert. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. Now fourth down, so the Chargers trot out J.K. Scott. Hey, yikes, terrible kick headed straight for the sidelines. The Panthers head out for their initial drive, and at the helm is their second-year quarterback now, the number one overall pick from 2023, Bryce Young. And he's certainly coming off a very tough rookie campaign, but he showed flashes of why he was the number one overall pick. Now starting over in year two with a brand-new coaching staff, I expect Bryce Young to show the world his talents in full. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at the 45. In motion left, that's Thielen. Looking to throw, Young. Throw left side on target to Thielen. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. 10 yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. Thielen does a nice job of moving the chains. That's something he did a lot of in 2023 as he was Bryce Young's most reliable weapon throughout his rookie campaign. He not only eclipsed 100 catches, but he also topped the millennium mark for the first time in five seasons. He's expecting an even bigger year in 2024. Man, he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. That'll give him eight that time, and they'll be left with second and a couple. To throw, Young. 
That one going to be complete to David Moore. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll send a receiver in motion to the right. Again, it's Young. That one completes him again. Call it a gain of three on the play. And yeah, that will bring up second down. But yet another completion here on this opening drive, and he's now perfect four of four to start. Pretty solid execution here. And how about how everyone's handled their nerves? Because you know what it's like to start a ball game. You're so amped up and ready to go that sometimes the execution isn't there. They've been flawless so far. Well drilled, well prepared, and excited to start this game. Now here's Young. A short throw hauled in by Trimble. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Completing it to the right side, Johnson. So just three yards on the completion there, and it'll be second down. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. A first carry for the Canadian-born Chuba Hubbard. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. And it's still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. They will run for the first time with Miles Sanders. They're looking for a lane, but none to be found for Sanders as they stop him short of the line to gain. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Well, it's almost football 101 that you preach to your safeties. Don't let anyone get behind you. You're the last line of defense. But he didn't let the play come to him. He went to the play. How about that read and recognition and finishing off that one behind the line of scrimmage? The kick by Pinheiro is good. And the Panthers stay claim to a 3-0 lead. So an opening drive field goal maybe doesn't whip this crowd into a frenzy, but I think that they will take the early lead. There's no doubt about it. They will always take the early lead, and maybe that celebration comes later if they play well and they can break things open. But right now, this is all about letting the offense just get settled in. After the field goal, on to kick it away is Pinheiro. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. Let's see if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. And incomplete on the deep ball. Tremendous coverage there. Just did not catch the football and complete the interception. But what do they say all the time? If he had really good hands, he'd be playing offense. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Play action this time for Justin Herbert. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. Here's Herbert. 
He's got his target. That's complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Up the middle, it's Edwards. Oh, and that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. This gain not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. So first and 10 now from the 30. They run once more with Edwards to the 27-yard line. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. And they'll come up on a second and seven from the 27. Herbert. That's to one of the new Charger wideouts, DJ Shark. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. And we'll get a pause here. There appears to be a Panther who is shaken up on that last play. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. They'll try and run for the first with Edwards. And some determined running there as he'll pick his way down to the 12-yard line. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. The first drive this unit had, they punted. This drive much more polished, just looking crisper, aren't they, moving the ball? Maybe the first drive was a little bit of a wake-up call. Probably a little bit angry that they had to pump the ball away the first time they had it. Got motivated, got to the sideline, said, okay, let's not let that happen here as we take over again. Now it's Herbert. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. From the three, second and a yard. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. I know every offense wants to start their snaps closer to the goal line but it's actually harder to throw the ball in those situations. You throw into that tight coverage, you see what happens. Hard to get the ball in there. Not enough space there. Lucky maybe that it wasn't intercepted. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Herbert now. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. Would have put him in the lead, but hold that thought. Yeah, the celebration had to stop, didn't it? Because now you're on a real uptick. You're in the lead. Instead, you're still behind. Have to find a way to regroup. And this third down looking very tough after the holding penalty. Third and long. Out of the gun, Herbert. And that one too wide and incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. Well, it's been a tough go for them. These guys have been driving down the field, but defensively, once they got their backs to the goal line, turned up the pressure, that's going to lead to a fourth down. Well played. And his kick is right there. It's good, and that will tie us at 3-3. 
So they've put together a good little drive there, but ultimately stalling out in the red zone. Yeah, I know a lot of people look at it as a little bit of a negative. They didn't get six points out of it, right? Didn't get the touchdown. But that's actually okay. They got three points. It will give their defense a little bit of rest, let them settle down over there. So all in all to me, that's a good drive. Field goals all we've had so far. 3-3 three, three now as the kick is away. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The Panthers coming back out onto the field for their second drive. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Throwing, young. Short throw there, caught by Thomas. So five yards here, five on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Second and five. Young to throw it. Sanders has it over the middle. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 11 yards and a Panther first down. We often talk about understanding the playbook, understanding progressions, and understanding what the defense is doing. We saw all of that on that play. Great recognition and understood where his running back was going to be. Found a way to have him leak out underneath, hit him with the football, and they picked up the first down. Short throw to the tight end, Thomas. And some space here. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. That was a lightning fast decision that time. He just caught it and got rid of it. Because he saw his guy was going to be open immediately. So he took the R, the run, out of the play. He took the O, the option, out of the play and immediately got to the pass. So they go from one 42-yard line to the other as they come up now first and 10. They'll throw again. Young. Got a man. That's Leggett. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. It's a nice completion, a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, aren't you? A give up the middle, Hubbard. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. But they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. Three-three, a tight one after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Charlotte, and it's the Panthers with the football. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. Now Young. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. A good-looking drive so far for the Panthers and a first down here. Seems as if the passing attack starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield, they're understanding the coverages, and they're finding the open holes in the defense. Young will set to throw. This is caught. And the Panthers are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. 
Oh, nice job there putting the ball right in the doorstep of the goal line. Couldn't quite get into pay dirt, but he got awfully close. Let's see if they can cash it in over the next couple of plays. A kicker fest so far. All points via field goals. They're hoping to change that right here. He's got it for a Panther touchdown. And Xavier again. A one-yard touchdown reception. And the Panthers have taken the lead. And down near the goal line here, they're able to throw it in. And the key word, quick. Quick hitter out of his hands fast, into the receiver's hands even faster. Eddie Pinheiro now for the extra point. And it is up. And it's good. That'll make our score 10-3 now. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And Carolina scores to cap it off. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. Just a lone field goal for them so far, trailing 10-3 as they come up first and 10. That one complete to McConkie. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath. Settle down and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. They go with Edwards' left side, and he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. On third down, here's Edwards. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They're able to convert with a gain of four. We all love to have a home run hitter in the backfield. Guy can take it the distance, but a short yardage trying to pick up first downs. That big guy, always a nice luxury to have, isn't he? Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Up the middle, here's Edwards. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. On the handoff, Edwards. And that's going to be good for a Chargers first down as the tackle made it about the 43-yard line. And that's the big fella's M.O. right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. This defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. Edwards now on first and 10. And he's got it to about the 40. They suspected that it was a power play up the middle coming at him. And boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Ball on the 40 now. Here's a second and eight. They'll try the air now with Herbert. 
That is taken in by Hurst. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 19. Now those linemen, of course, can't be more than a yard downfield when a pass is thrown, and they might have been able to call that on a couple of guys there. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Throw left side is hauled in by Palmer. Give him a gain of five on the completion. Third and seven now. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. And this offense on third down today, they've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and seven. Here's Herbert. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 24-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a charger first. That's really good play design right there, and it's one that comes down to the offensive line. It's a deep in route, but it's only going to work if that line gives you time in the pocket to wait for the route to develop. Mission accomplished there as they pick up the first down. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? And the movement there coming from the middle of the line. And you understand he wants to get off the ball quickly, but the ball's right in front of him. He has to watch it move first. So a first and five now after the five-yard penalty from the neutral zone infraction. Back to throw here, Herbert. And it's caught. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Hayden Hurst from 19 yards away. And the Chargers are an extra point away from evening this one up. As a general rule, quarterbacks don't want to lock in on a receiver before the ball is snapped. But in this case, based on the matchup he thought he was going to get, it was favorable for his tight end. He locked in on him early and found him for a touchdown. For the extra point, Cameron Dicker. And he'll put it through, and that evens us up at 10 apiece. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it ends with the Chargers getting into the end zone. Ten apiece as the kicks away. Oh, a good looking return set up here. And he's all the way up across the 40 and down at the 42. Great return. Bryce Young and the offense out for their next series. The returns on the last drive, pretty good. Seven for seven, touchdown pass. Probably take that, right? I would say so. I mean, when you're cutting them apart that way, Feeling so accurate, so confident going downfield, and then able to culminate by putting it in the end zone. Oh, yeah. He's feeling real good right now. Now he'll try to carry that over to this drive. Here's Young throwing to start the drive. That is caught by Thielen. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 23 yards, the final tally. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Young to throw it. He gets this one to Hubbard, complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 
And they get 17 more on that one and another first down. Another nice play there. They've gotten down into the red zone in no time at all. That's what this offense can do when they get on a roll. And now they're set up for the first and 10. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Straight ahead with Hubbard. He'll get forward for three down to the 16-yard line. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else they'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. And they'll come up second and seven. Young off the play fake. And he's got it. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Mark that as a gain of 16 to set him up first and goal. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up the touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball across the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got a jump here. A little antsy on the left side of the line. Yeah, I think they got the guy in the end. I think they got the DN there on that one, and let's face it, he is so amped up. Wanting to get a good get off on the snap, jump too quickly. Hubbard is in. Touchdown, Carolina. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And that makes it a 17-10 score. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Gus Edwards heading back onto the field. They're behind in the first half here, CD, but it's not to any fault of their running back. He's had a strong start to this one. And you're right about that, partner, because watching him play, you would think that his team is in the lead. He has been a lot of fun in this contest. Now let's see if they can actually make something happen, put more points on the board behind his efforts. Yeah, I'm curious to see, Charles, if they can play complimentary football and get that passing game going as well. Throwing to start the drive. Herbert, open man right side. That's McConkey. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. So from the 37, here's second and a yard. They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert over the middle, hauled in by Sharp. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. Second and short, that's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Herbert off of play action. And this one is incomplete. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. Here's second and ten. Here's Herbert. 
And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact. But in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. Herbert back to the air. That is caught. He'll get it inside the 20. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Lad McConkey, 48 yards. And the Chargers are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Brandon, what we just saw there were two guys who were in sync. The person delivering the ball, but especially the person running the route. Tremendous job. It results in a terrific play. Dicker now to tack on the extra point. And he gets it to go, and we're all even. 17 apiece. Five plays there on that drive. And it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles. Seventeen, seventeen. the score. All even to this point as the kick's away. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Panthers offense and Bryce Young headed back onto the field. And he's had things all his way in this first half. The number's sensational as he'll look to add to them with another drive here. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically... One guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game from the 24 now. Here's a second down and nine. Now here's Young. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Here is Young. And that will be incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. Carolina punt team out there led by Johnny Hecker. Back deep for L.A. is Darius Davis. And here's a very low line drive, almost whiffed on it. And this one goes sailing out of bounds. Where did it cross? Well, they're going to say on this side of midfield. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And this drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look and repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. That one good for 13 and a Charger first. 
That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag because when you do, you just put the ball on him and then let him run. Yeah, he's got some space. Herbert. He's got to hook up downfield to McConkie. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. That one goes for 24 yards. Press coverage on the outside, and for defenders, that's the ultimate risk-reward. If you take the risk, can you reward yourself by keeping them on the line of scrimmage? But no, not on that one. Got the step on him. Now it's just a matter of laying the ball out there for him to go get it. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. He's got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Chargers. Hayden Hurst. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Chargers will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. You got to figure down by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area. And he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown. And now, of course, all scoring plays are reviewed, and I think they're going to take an extra long look at this one. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Extra point try now from Dicker. And they will take a seven-point lead now. So they only needed three plays on that drive, and it ends with the Chargers getting into the end zone. Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Panthers going to go back on offense here late in this first half. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get into field goal range. Now Young. They'll run the screen with Hubbard. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. And the ball on the 30. Here's second and four. Young. Complete. It's Johnson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. The Panthers are going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Young now from the 50. He'll get this complete to the... No, bottled up. Fumble. It's out. It's loose. But this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. Well, this hasn't been their cleanest first half of football. Last thing they wanted to do was give it up to the opposition, but able to keep it as it goes out of bounds. Yeah, tough first half, no doubt about it. But if they turn it over there, now things turn a little, how would you say it, dire? Mm. And they didn't need that hassle at all. So being able to take care of the football is paramount. 
Fortunate bounce for them there in order to retain it. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. Again, it's Young. Johnson's got it complete. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 40. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. Now the Panthers going to signal for their third and final timeout as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. Young now. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. And that is no good. And this will stay at a seven-point game. Well, Brandon, anything beyond 50, you start rolling the dice a bit. And once you get up around 57, 58 yards, the chances of making it go down dramatically. And sure enough, this one winds up no good. A final shot before the break for Herbert. Now a deep one for Johnston. And this is dropped. Oh, my goodness. There was no one around him, but he took his eye off it, and it falls incomplete. So we have reached halftime. Intermission with the visiting Chargers on top. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Both of these offenses had their share of high points in that first half. Each team had some big moments, and it would seem this could turn out to be a game where the last score wins. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Out come the Panthers. They'll have it first on offense in the third quarter. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. Short throw there caught by Thomas. It'll go as a gain of four, and it'll be second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Now a second and six. Finding Johnson on the out route, that's complete. Five catches for him in that first half, and that's number six that we just saw, and also a first down. Now whistles, flag down, and I believe one of the Panthers got moving early. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. The false start backs him up five, first and 15. In motion left, that's Thielen. 
Young. Throw left side on target to Thielen. They get 14 yards, but not enough for the first down due to the previous penalty. From the 48-yard line, here's second down and one. Young to throw it. Short throw hauled in by Trimble. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 46. They'll throw again, Young. And that, oh, nearly picked off. But it would have been a great time for their first interception of the game. Instead, it's second down. Well, they've been back on the heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Looking to throw, Young. Looking underneath and finding Hubbard. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll try and run for this with Hubbard. But he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. The drive stays alive, a third down gain of eight. They had yet to run the ball at all on this drive, but third and short, definitely was a great time to dial one up. So first and 10 now from the 30. And he'll go again here with Hubbard. And he is going to lose yardage here. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. You know what the converse is, though? You've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks. And when you don't, that's the result you end up with. Now Young. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. In motion right here comes Johnson. Out of the gun, it's Young. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. We've well, got to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. This is up and good from Pinheiro. And that'll bring him back within four. So they were facing the deficit coming out of the locker room at intermission, and at least they're able to get the field goal to cut into that deficit. Yeah, now your offense feels pretty good about itself, right? A little bit more up to speed coming out of the break. You turn to your defense now and say, hey, we got three there. We're chipping into the lead. Can you help us out? Hold them. Let's get the ball back for us. After the field goal, on to kick it away is Pinheiro. And able to get this out to the 25. The Chargers offense and Justin Herbert getting set for this next drive. And we'll take you through some of the highlights here. You'll notice he had a hand in a lot of them so far. He's got this offense rolling right now. The 
the Charger drive about to get going. They have played so strongly. You look at the scoreboard, you, you probably, with the way they played, you would think the margin would be a lot bigger, right? You would. And in your experience, how many times have we run into coaches where they've talked about, hey, we just want to put it in the hands of our defense and have them win the game? In this case, yeah, not the case. Not at all. You want to put it in the hands of your offense, but you always feel better about seeing defense because you think defense is a constant and offense kind of comes and goes. Today, <laughs> this game, no, they need their offense to stay on a really hot level. They've been hot so far. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Justin Herbert looking to pass. And a quick throw here. That's complete. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. Third and seven now. now. That tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. From the gun, Herbert on third down. Short throw underneath to Hurst. And they're able to get this one across the 35. He's been big. Two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Play action. It's Herbert. his throw is going to be incomplete not his best throw there but where we sit right now in the third quarter he's had a pretty good game throwing the football he certainly has and it's not exactly the point where we're doing four minute offense yet but they've got to think about i'm not going to say milking the clock but understanding clock management here on out now a handoff edwards and he is going to lose yardage here Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. And if they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. They need 12 here. It's third down. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 43. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. With the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep with the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. Herbert off of play action. He's going to wind up and air it out. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. That's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. Second and ten. Now it's Herbert. Open man is Palmer. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. But well, there wasn't much there with that hitch route. They didn't gain what they expected. But sometimes when you call a hitch, you really don't have an alternate to go to. You don't have a second route to throw it to. So sometimes you have to rifle in there and hope for the best. The line to gain is the 33 on third down. Here's Herbert. That is caught. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And he had one touchdown earlier, nearly a second one there. Yeah, it took a touchdown-saving tackle to keep him out of the end zone after a big play. Perhaps you go right back to him. Don't need the distance, but maybe he can pay things off after a big effort. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. 
Herbert throwing again. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. From four yards out. And the Chargers are able to add on to that lead. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is let you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because you have taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And that pushes the lead up to 11. A 10-play drive that time. And it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles. Now, after the Dicker field goal, he's back out, ready to send it away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Panthers about ready to take over. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Here is Young. And his throw here is incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Second and ten now. Third quarter from Charlotte. Young will set to throw. This ball complete. It's an out route to Thielen. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 14 yards, good for a Panther first down. And that play came together really well for them as he found open space, makes the catch, and gets down to the one-yard line. You know he's kicking himself right now. He thought he had a chance to get a touchdown and put that in his ledger. Instead, his team gets a chance to cash in over these next few plays. Thielen going to go in motion right. Now here's Young. Adam Thielen, back-to-back -back catches. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. To the air once more, Young. And he'll find Thielen on the right side. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that'll bring up second down. On play action, Young. There's the ball comes out, and this is going to get out of bounds. So they will gain a bit of yardage on the play, actually, and they'll hold on to the football as well. Can almost see inside his face mask there the look <laughs> of relief. He coughed it up, but it goes out of bounds. They keep it. Someone carrying around the lucky horseshoe, aren't they? If I were him, I'd go out and play the lottery after that one. A very fortunate man. And they're operating in plus territory here. They're thinking points. Definitely don't want to lose the football at this juncture. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Some big plays in the passing game on this drive. And here's one out of the running game. So the passing game loosening things up. Now there's room to roam.
Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. jumpy on the right side of the line sometimes when you're on the end a little bit farther away from the ball any type of movement will get you to jump and that's exactly what happened there they will come up on a first and five following the encroachment penalty up the middle they go with sanders and he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six that's a strong pickup right there on first down and as this drive goes on we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will So not quite a first and goal just yet as they come up now second and inches. Throwing. Young. Touchdown, Panthers. Tommy Trimble from six yards away. And the Panthers are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. A good tight end is a heck of a weapon for any quarterback, especially when you're able to create some mismatches. Sometimes they work against a linebacker. Sometimes they work against a smaller defensive back. But when they find it, they go to it, and it often results in touchdowns. Well, Bryce and that Panthers offense, they're going to stay out there and go for two. And Young's going to throw for this. And he's got it. So the try for two successful. And with it, they're back within a field goal. I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call. And he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion. And now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. Fighting his way through contact. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Chargers offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. The Charger drive about to get going. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. And a scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. From the 32-yard line now, here's second and nine. Now it's Edwards. Got a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we're back now in Charlotte. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Setting up the screen here to Edwards. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Charger first down. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide, and these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop.
We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. That's taken in by Palmer. And he's taken down at the 50 after a short gain of two. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's second down and eight. From the 50, here's Herbert. That's again complete to Palmer. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll leave them with third and a full yard to go. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Here's Edwards. And Edwards trying to push forward, but unsuccessful. They stop him short of the marker. Call it no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I, I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him credit. They knew what they wanted to dial up on fourth. They executed it for nine yards, and the offense stays out there. So now following the roll of the dice, they've got a first and ten inside the 35. Herbert. Slant route going to be caught by Palmer. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. <laughs> Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. On the run, this is J.K. Dobbins. He's going to get four out of this as he's down to the 10-yard line. This has been an up-and-down, back-and-forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive could take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. Second and six from the 10. Out of the gun, they give to Edwards. And he'll get about four there as he takes it from the 10 down to the six. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Here's Herbert. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And the Chargers are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Edwards will take this into the end zone for a Charger touchdown. Everybody in the stadium knew what they were going to do right there, CD. Three tight ends on the field, all that extra bulk, and they run it in. And you saw where that one went, right? You run it over your best blocker. I can just see the head coach right now. I want to run this one over the big boy. And they got it done. Dicker down, attack on the extra point. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. That one in the books as a 12-play drive, and it was polished off by the Gus Edwards touchdown run.
So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Here come the Panthers now, set to take over on offense. Well, that last touchdown we just saw, what an important one. Now it's back to a two-score deficit for this crew as they take the field here, and they are in desperate need of finding the end zone. Start on the ground with Hubbard. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. 46 yards rushing for him now in the ballgame. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. It's Young off play action. A short throw hauled in by Trimble. Eighth catch for him now. He's been a big factor. And it's a first down. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. In motion right goes Johnson. Young now. That went complete to again. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. So the completion good for six yards, and that'll make it second down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. He'll find Thielen work in the middle. That'll put him close to 100 yards receiving. He's at 98, and he's got a first down. Young. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. They'll look to throw again. Oh, no, he lost the football. And well, the defense not able to get it. From a defensive perspective, what's that moment like when you realize the ball is loose? It is a moment where all concentration goes right to the football. This is something you've talked about in all your preparation for the game. You've probably talked about since training camp. Knock the ball free, take it away from the other team, and now you have that chance. <laughs> There's a little bit of deflation when they end up recovering it. They knocked it free, but couldn't take it away. Give it big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down. So let's sort this out. So obviously, they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. And the lead is down to a field goal now. 
So that drive goes eight plays. And in the end, it was Deontay Johnson's touchdown catch to cap the drive. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The visitors' offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And he has been masterful so far in leading this offense. He's kept the mistakes to a minimum. He's been on point with his passes. And he's generally been one step ahead of this defense all game long. The Charger drive about to get going. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and ten. He pushes through a would-be tackler to get about three yards second down. Brandon, you know how many times we've done games, and at the start of the fourth quarter, we see both teams hold up the four fingers, fourth quarter is ours. Well, how about this drive? You saw the four fingers for four-minute offense, and this offensive line has really hunkered down and established themselves. Now, this is where they say, put the game on our shoulders, we'll lead the way, right? No doubt about it. And let me tell you, if you're a running back, all you want to do is get behind those big fellas, have a little vision, and find some space. And a solid way to do that on the first play of the drive there. Well, you know me, partner, I never tell them to back off of being aggressive, but sometimes you see the consequences when you're overly aggressive and you don't secure tackles. Guys break through. Trying to sell out to pry that football loose, and just as you said, cost some yardage. Yeah, you got to go get him. Stand him up first before you go for the ball. Don't just go for it initially. And we've seen him have success earlier on with the ball in his hands because he is a get it in space and make a play kind of a receiver. But that time, they closed on him quickly and held him to a short game. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's second down and three. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? So five yards there is one of the big guys up front moved. And in a 4-3 front, you've got the two defensive tackles right near the football. I know there's a lot of movement around there, but they're always taught to have one eye on the football. Apparently, that didn't happen. A give for Edwards running right. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. Another run on second down. Try to cover up. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Now Herbert. Short throw to Disley. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Running left is Edwards. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. Now the Panthers going to signal for their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down.
And they'll indeed take a knee. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. So they'll go ahead and accept the penalty. Victory formation time for the Chargers. They take a knee. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, and he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. <laughs> Charles, normally when you see a group score this many points, it's a complete blowout. But instead, they needed every single one of those in this close, high-scoring affair. And Brandon, I'm still on the edge of my seat after that one because when you have that much scoring and it still comes down to one possession game at the end, that's not something we see very often. And in this case, these offenses, they brought it. The defenses, they're going to need some work going forward.